it's not doing anything. No, I'm sure that's fine. When Jerry was here. We are tie-dyeing um, 4th of July t-shirts today and I just wanted to show you um, how we are putting the, the dye on there and if you never tied out a shirt just a little tip it's best if you put the tip to the fabric and squeeze it before you squeeze it because it'll it rolls off of the fabric. So we're just gonna show you a little bit of our tie dyeing today. Do I open it? I have no yeah, open it. what to do for mine. Oh, stick the neat up to it. Today I'm going to show y'all one of our favorites, homemade peach ice cream. And peaches are in season right now pretty much everywhere. And if you don't have access to some local peaches, you can just use canned ones. But today I'm going to show you how to take fresh peaches and turn them into ice cream. The recipe that I'm using is going to be posted in the comments so you can go there um, if you want to try this recipe out. So I've gone ahead and I've peeled um, some peaches and I have them in my little blender. And I'm gonna just take you step by step, but pretty much all you need are the fresh peaches, some sugar, some cream, some milk, um, some condensed milk, evaporated milk, and that is all that I use. And I always put a dash of vanilla in mine, but that's all you need. 
The first thing that we're going to do is to blend up our peaches. you'd like. If you want it to be a stronger peach flavor, you can add more than two cups. If you want it to be less, you can add less than two cups. So now I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients to our ice cream freezer. The sugar, I always add the sugar first and then I try to stir it up with whatever's in there. And since we have the peaches, I'm going to go ahead and stir that up just to get the sugar dissolved. the fill line if you have an ice cream freezer and you've done this before you just fill it up I don't like to go all the way to the line I just do it just a little bit below it so I'm gonna add my milk and stir it and get it all the way to that fill line Now I'm going to add a dash of vanilla because a little vanilla makes everything better. That's just my opinion. So I do not measure this. I don't ever measure vanilla in anything I do. So I just do a little bit of dash and then I'm going to stir it. And once you feel like all of your sugar has dissolved in the bottom, because that's really important to get that sugar dissolved because if it collects on the bottom, it can be real grainy. And then once you get it all dissolved, you're going to add your dasher and your lid and go get your ice and then we'll show you what to do next. You ready? Mm -hmm. I brought everything outside. I like to make my ice cream outside just because as the ice melts, it will, um, the water will flow out and you'd have to stand at the sink for at least 30 to 45 minutes. So it's just much easier and much more pleasant to come outside and do it. So all that I'm going to do, and I think it's best, and if you've made ice cream before, you know, you need an even distribution of rock salt to ice. 
So as I'm filling it up, I just do ice, rock salt, ice, rock salt, all the way till I get to the top. And then pretty much as it melts, you just add more rock salt and you add more ice. And then hopefully in about 30 or 40 minutes, we will have some great peach ice cream. So um, it stopped churning, which means that it is done and that it is frozen. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna drain out some of this water and I might get wet in the process, but I'm gonna drain out some of that salt water um, just because I'm gonna take it inside. I'm not gonna drain all of it out because we want it to stay cold. But what I'm gonna do next is, and I don't know if whenever you've made ice cream, if you have a favorite way to do it or not, but what I like to do is to take the dasher out and put the lid back on and then pack more ice on it and put a towel over it and let it sit for a couple of hours. I think it just gets it a little bit harder and I'm a little more firm so it makes it taste a little bit better. But check it out. After I peeled all my peaches, I stuck them in the refrigerator to get them really cold. So now I'm going to give the chickens a treat. They should be really, really excited about this. Hey, chicky, chicky. I got you something. I got you something. I got you a treat. Look at what I got. If you enjoy our videos, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to get notified every time we post a new video. Happy 4th of July!